All right, so we're ready for part two of our drawing. So this is where we're gonna start to add doors and windows. So we're gonna actually use our horizon line to create either our doors or windows. It's up to you. We're gonna use it for one of those. I'm probably gonna use it for my windows in this case. If you find that your horizon line is lower on your buildings, it might be a good idea to use it for the door. If you find that it's higher, it's probably best to use it for your windows. So I'm just gonna use the horizon line as the bottom line for my windows. So I don't have to draw any extra lines. So this is gonna be the bottom of my window line. I'm going to take my ruler, line it up to the right vanishing point. And I'm going to angle it so that I can create another line from my vanishing point to touch this middle line. Now that's creating this little triangle. You see it tapers off and gets skinnier and skinnier, but there is this little triangle right there. That's gonna be the top of my window and the bottom of my window. So let me show you what I mean. I'll take my ruler and again, I wanna, I can eyeball it or I can line it up to the edge and I'm going to draw a line that comes down and that line's gonna be between those two lines, my horizon line and the top of the line I just made. I'm gonna draw another line that comes down and I'm gonna space it out again and then draw another one. So all together I'm drawing four lines. Now, when I go back and erase around those lines, I get a window, actually two windows. So then I'm gonna repeat that step for right here. And you kind of choose your spacing. Know that objects do appear to get smaller and smaller as they get further back. So maybe as you're getting further back, the spacing's a little different. Uh, you might want to put them a little closer together so for this building, I would probably want to space them close together. And that way I can get some windows. I could probably squeeze another window right here. Let's see. There we go. So now I have my windows shaping up on my right side of my drawing. I can also go back and erase that line. I don't need it anymore on the alleys. Remember those little spaces between our buildings are called our alleys. And if I accidentally erased anything, I can go back over that. And so now I have my buildings shaped up on this side. So to create my windows on this side, I would want to angle my ruler so that it's in line with my vanishing point on the left side. And almost, if I see this is where my old line was, maybe I make a little mark so that I can keep it pretty equal. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line that connects to my vanishing point. So I have a couple options. Maybe at this point, I just wanna create a sign so if I'm just making a sign, I don't need to separate my windows. This can just become a sign later, and I'll show you what I mean. But for this one, maybe I wanna do both. Maybe I wanna have a window right here. So here's my window. And then right next to my window, I think I'm gonna put a sign. And that'll take shape later when I add more details. And of course, remember you can erase this part in between. And if you get stuck on this and you're not sure and need some clarification, just raise your hand and ask for some assistance. This building's gonna have a lot of windows. So then I'm erasing my lines in between. Now, of course, I can go back over my lines on my alleyway to darken them and make them stand out more. And that is going to help my building to take shape. So now I have some windows on my building. The next thing I want to do 
is create a door line. So my door line is gonna fall underneath my horizon line. I'm gonna start on the right side and I'm going to line it up to my vanishing point. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And then I can create some door lines. And my door might go just like this. And now I have a door and I would erase around it. And then I might create another door back here. Maybe this one's like a double door. And I can erase around it. And then over here, maybe I create another double door. Cut it in half down the middle. And then erase around it. Now, I should have showed this part first, but that's okay. So let's say you wanted a canopy um, hanging over your building. So what I'm going to do is actually erase this line because my door will go underneath it. Because canopies usually do cover the doors anyways. So I'm going to take this line, I'm going to angle it from my left vanishing point, and I'm going to go just for this building. I'm going to start at the alleyway, and I'm going to go across until I touch the beginning of the other alley. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to angle it, and I'm going to repeat that step. So it's going to touch the beginning of the other alley. So both in line with the vanishing point. Then I take from this end up till it touches. So from this building, this is a whole different building. So I'm actually gonna go from this part and I'm gonna go at an angle and touch it. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. And then I'm able to erase my lines. And actually this one should, you might just wanna check it because it should line up, this part should line up with your right vanishing point. So if that looks a little funny, it's because it needs to line up with your right vanishing point. I can even add some stripes. So using my ruler, because that's gonna help me keep my line straight, I'm going to create some stripes across my canopy, I'm calling it the canopy. Okay, so then underneath my canopy, I can add that door. And then I can continue my door over here this one, I'm not gonna add a door because we can see that it's the same building so they can enter from this side. Okay, and so now I have my buildings drawn. So here's the fun part. This is where you can start to add some details. So thinking about, okay, I want some window panes. That's what divides my window in half. Well, that needs to be lined with the vanishing point. So if I draw some window lines, that's where your window is divided in half, usually because you can open the window. And I can add like this little dot. It kind of looks like eyeballs. Hmm. All right, and then that creates, this one almost looks like blinds over here. So then another idea for your windows would be same thing, window panes going this way. But this time, create a parallel line to cut it in half. So that's another style of window. Okay. Then finally, we can think about some signs. So I left a sign here. Of course, if you want more signs over here, you can. So I'm gonna add a sign right here. We're just gonna make this a Nike store. And then maybe over here, I'm gonna add a sign just below. So if I wanna add a sign below my window, I'm gonna have to treat it like I did before. I'm gonna have to draw a line that's angled. So I want that line to line up. Now I can use this line right here. And then this is now going to become a sign on my window that I can use to connect with. So then I can add, maybe this is an ice cream shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
draw an ice cream cone. So then I get my ice cream cone drawn. And now this can become the fun ice cream shop. And I can always add like fun little things at the top like this. Because I feel like an ice cream store would probably have something cute like this at the top. I can always add some window um, to make it look like glass. So I just angle my lines, okay? And then another detail which you can add, now this is if you're feeling pretty um, ambitious, you could create some siding or some bricks. Now, it has to be in line with the vanishing point. So if I'm gonna draw lines to make bricks, my lines have to go to this vanishing point for the right side. I'm gonna just keep turning my ruler. I always wanna make sure that my ruler is touching the vanishing point on one side. Okay, so then that can become my siding. And from there, so I can leave it like siding, or I can go back and I can add some bricks up to you what you want your building to look like. And I would just continue my bricks to create that effect. Okay, so once that's done, some other ideas would be to come back and start adding details over here. Like, do you want a window here, another sign? Lots of options. Um, the brick's probably a little harder because now even just looking at this, I see my lines aren't really parallel. Uh, so that's just something to watch out for. Brick is gonna be more challenging. So even if you wanted, let's say you just didn't wanna do the whole building of brick, well, maybe you have a building that's old and so you only wanna do like a little section. So I make like this little cloud shape and then I can make it have a little bit more going on, but not all over it. So it's just like a little piece of it, okay? Now, if you were doing something on this side, you, you would have to line up to the opposite one. So if I was trying to make this look like it had siding, I have to line it up to this vanishing point and slowly turn it and just make sure that this corner is on that vanishing point the whole way down, okay? The only other thing I wanna show you real quick, um, just because I know this video is getting long, is your sidewalk. So for this side, it's gonna be the left vanishing point. So I'm gonna take this, and I know it's not the greatest because it doesn't line up very well, so you're gonna have to just eyeball it. Do the best you can. Eventually, your line should start to turn because you're getting closer to where your horizon line is. Okay, and then the same thing. This one's gonna line up. You wanna try to line it up with your right vanishing point. Of course, you can always use your pencil too as a guide. So let's see, if I'm trying, I'm like, oh, it's not quite long enough. Hold your pencil and get it where you need it and then draw it. Okay, so hopefully this helped you get through this drawing and uh, draw what you need. So this is again, two point perspective, okay? So if you have any questions or need to see something again, just uh, you can always pause the video and rewind, but of course, raise your hand and ask me for help. All right, good luck. Can't wait to see them.